Platybelodon was an unusual prehistoric elephant-like mammal that lived during the Miocene epoch. It had a long, flat, shovel-like lower jaw with two large, flattened tusks, which it likely used to scoop and cut aquatic vegetation or dig in the ground for roots. Platybelodon could reach lengths of about 6 meters, 20 feet, and weighed around 4 to 6 metric tons. Its distinct jaw structure makes it one of the more peculiar members of the Proboscidea, the group that includes modern elephants. Calicotherium was a unique herbivorous mammal with long, clawed forelimbs and shorter hind limbs, giving it an unusual, sloth-like appearance. It stood about 2.5 meters, 8 feet, tall at the shoulder and had a body length of up to 4 meters, 13 feet. Calicotherium used its large claws to pull down branches and strip leaves, feeding on vegetation that was out of reach for other herbivores. Its strange anatomy has led to much debate among paleontologists about its exact lifestyle and behavior. Amphissian, also known as bear dogs, was a large, powerful carnivorous mammal that lived during the Miocene epoch. It could grow up to 2.5 meters, 8 feet, long and weigh as much as 300 kilograms, 660 pounds. Amphissian had a build similar to both bears and dogs, with strong limbs, a robust body, and large, sharp teeth for hunting large prey. It was a dominant predator of its time, likely preying on herbivores such as early horses and rhinoceroses. Velociraptor is one of the most famous dinosaurs, thanks in part to its portrayal in popular media. It was a small, agile dromaeosaurid, measuring about 2 meters, 6.5 feet, in length and weighing around 15 kilograms, 33 pounds. Velociraptor had a large, curved claw on each foot, which it likely used to grasp and kill prey. Fossil evidence suggests it was a pack hunter, preying on small to medium-sized dinosaurs. Velociraptor was also feathered, reinforcing the evolutionary link between dinosaurs and birds. Civitherium was a large giraffe that lived from the Miocene to the Pleistocene epochs. It stood about 3 meters, 10 feet, tall at the shoulder and had a robust, stocky build, with shorter legs and a broader body than modern giraffes. Civitherium had two pairs of ossicones, horn-like structures, one on the forehead and another on the back of the head, giving it a distinctive appearance. It likely lived in savanna or woodland environments, browsing on leaves and other vegetation. Bipiosaurus was a therizinosaur, a group of herbivorous theropod dinosaurs known for their large claws and unusual body shapes. It lived about 125 million years ago and measured approximately 2.2 meters, 7.2 feet, in length. Bipiosaurus had a feathered body, with long feathers on its arms, indicating a close evolutionary relationship with birds. Its large, clawed hands were likely used to grasp and manipulate vegetation, while its small head and leaf-shaped teeth suggest it was a herbivore. Nathosaurus was a marine reptile that lived during the Triassic period, about 240 million years ago. It had a long body, paddle-like limbs, and a head with sharp teeth, making it well adapted for hunting fish and other marine organisms. Nathosaurus could grow up to 4 meters, 13 feet, long and was likely a fast and agile swimmer. Its semi-aquatic lifestyle, with the ability to move on land as well, is thought to be similar to that of modern seals or sea lions. Werasaurus is one of the last known stegosaurid dinosaurs, living during the early Cretaceous period. It measured about 7 meters, 23 feet, in length and had the characteristic double row of plates along its back, though these were more flattened compared to other stegosaurs. Werasaurus lived in a time when most other stegosaurs had already gone extinct, making it a unique survivor of its group. Its fossils provide insight into the diversity and longevity of the stegosaur family. Tyanulong was a small heterodontosaurid dinosaur, measuring about 1 meter, 3.3 feet, in length. It is particularly notable for its filamentous structures, which are considered an early form of feather-like covering. These structures provide evidence that some Ornithischian dinosaurs, not just theropods, had feather-like features, which may have been used for display, insulation, or other purposes. Tyanulong had a combination of different types of teeth, indicating it had a varied diet that included both plants and small animals. Gastornis, also known as Diatrima, was a large, flightless bird that lived after the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs. It stood about 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet, tall and had a massive, powerful beak. Although once thought to be a carnivore, more recent studies suggest Gastornis was likely a herbivore, using its beak to crush tough plant material. 
Gastronus fossils have been found across the Northern Hemisphere, including Central Asia, and it was one of the dominant terrestrial animals of its time. Pteridostro was a unique filter-feeding pterosaur with a long, specialized beak lined with thousands of fine, comb-like teeth. It lived about 105 million years ago and had a wingspan of approximately 2.5 meters, 8 feet. Pteridostro's beak was adapted for skimming water and filtering out small aquatic organisms, much like modern flamingos. While most fossils have been found in South America, it represents the diversity of pterosaur species that would have been present in Asia during the Cretaceous. Junosaurus was a medium-sized sauropod dinosaur from the Middle Jurassic of China, measuring about 11 meters 36 feet, in length. It was relatively small for a sauropod, but it possessed a unique feature, a club-like structure at the end of its tail, which it may have used as a defensive weapon against predators. Junosaurus had a relatively short neck compared to other sauropods, suggesting it fed on low-growing vegetation. Its fossils are among the best-preserved sauropods from Asia, providing valuable insights into sauropod evolution. Cetacosaurus, meaning parrot lizard, was a small ceratopsian dinosaur known for its parrot-like beak. It was one of the earliest ceratopsians, measuring about 2 meters, 6.5 feet, in length and weighing around 20 kilograms, 44 pounds. Cetacosaurus had a high degree of variability in size and features, with fossils showing differences between juveniles and adults. It was a bipedal herbivore, feeding on tough, fibrous plants, and is notable for the discovery of fossilized tail bristles, suggesting some form of display or defense mechanism. Lystrosaurus was a genus of herbivorous therapsids, sometimes referred to as mammal-like reptiles. It lived during a critical period in Earth's history, surviving the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the largest mass extinction known. Lystrosaurus was about 1 meter, 3.3 feet, long and had a stout body, short legs, and a beak-like mouth with two tusks. Its ability to burrow and its adaptability to harsh climates may have contributed to its survival during the extinction event. Protoceratops was a small, herbivorous ceratopsian dinosaur that lived about 75 million years ago. It measured around 1.8 meters, 6 feet, in length and weighed approximately 180 kilograms, 400 pounds. Protoceratops had a large frill at the back of its head, which may have been used for display, species recognition, or protection. It is famous for the discovery of fossils showing a protoceratops locked in combat with a velociraptor, providing direct evidence of predatory behavior in dinosaurs. Andrusarchus was a massive carnivorous mammal, known primarily from a single, enormous skull discovered in Mongolia. This skull measures about 83 centimeters 33 inches long, making it one of the largest skulls of any known land predator. Andrusarchus is often described as a wolf-like or a hyena-like mesonychid, though its full appearance remains speculative due to the lack of a complete skeleton. It likely had powerful jaws and teeth adapted for crushing bones, indicating a diet that included large prey and carrion. Also known as Paraceratherium, Indracotherium is considered the largest land mammal that ever lived. This hornless rhinoceros could reach heights of over 5 meters, 16 feet, at the shoulder and lengths of up to 8 meters, 26 feet. It weighed an estimated 15 to 20 metric tons, similar in size to some medium-sized sauropod dinosaurs. Indracotherium was a browser, feeding on leaves, soft plants, and branches from tall trees, using its long neck to reach high vegetation. Sinornithosaurus was a small, feathered dromaeosaurid dinosaur that lived about 125 million years ago. It was about 1 meter, 3.3 feet, long and weighed around 3 kilograms, 6.6 pounds. Sinornithosaurus is one of the earliest known dinosaurs to have feathers, which likely provided insulation and possibly aided in gliding or flight. Its discovery provided crucial evidence for the evolutionary link between dinosaurs and birds. Sinornithosaurus had sharp claws and teeth, indicating it was a carnivore that preyed on small animals. Tarbosaurus was a large theropod dinosaur closely related to Tyrannosaurus rex. It was one of the apex predators of its time, measuring up to 12 meters, 39 feet, in length and weighing around 5 to 6 metric tons. Tarbosaurus had a powerful skull and large, sharp teeth, which it used to hunt large herbivorous dinosaurs. Unlike its North American cousin, Tarbosaurus had proportionally smaller arms and a more gracile build, suggesting differences in hunting strategies. 
Mammonchosaurus is known for its extraordinarily long neck, which could measure up to half its total body length. This sauropod dinosaur is one of the longest neck dinosaurs ever discovered, reaching lengths of up to 25 meters, 82 feet. Mammonchosaurus likely used its long neck to reach vegetation high up in trees, similar to modern-day giraffes. It had a relatively light build for a sauropod, with a small head and peg-like teeth adapted for stripping leaves.